Hi everyone, welcome to the next session Geotechnical Engineering 1 Consolidation and coming to the problem and coming to the problem, this is the problem in a consolidation test the following test results have been obtained when the load was changed from 50 kN per meter square to 100 kN per meter square the wire ratio changed from 0.70 to 0.65 determine the coefficient of volume decrease mv and uh, compression index cc this is the problem they are given in a laboratory they have considered the consolidation test and the load was changed from 50 to 100 kilo per meter square in that situation wire ratio changed from 0 0.70 to 0 0.65 for this condition, we have to calculate the coefficient of volume decrease as well as a compression index. And coming to here, initial wire ratio, the given data we should have to write here. Initial wire ratio E naught equal to 0 0.70 for corresponding effective stress uh, sigma bar naught equal to 50 kilo newton per meter square. Whereas wire ratio get changed from 0 0.70 to 0 0.65. The effective stress was uh, get changed from 50 to that means increased from 100 kilo per meter square from 50 to 100 kilo meter square was increased. Next coming to the coefficient of volume compressibility the coefficient of volume compressibility is defined as the change in wire ratio per unit increase in the effective stress in the soil mass. Uh, where here we will represent the negative sign, ne negative sign indicates the change in wire ratio with increasing this uh, effective stress that is nothing but uh, delta E divided by delta sigma bar on uh, automatic scale we are having where this uh, delta E represents the E naught minus uh, E1 divided by E naught minus E1 divided by sigma 2 bar minus uh, sigma 1 bar. This is the formula we are using for the calculation of the coefficient of compressibility of the soil mass where AB equal to minus delta E by delta sigma bar that will be equal to 0 0.70 minus 0 0.65 divided by 100 minus uh, 50 wire ratio there is no units uh, delta sigma is a kilo per meter square it is in a uh, denominator by keeping top side we are getting this value as a meter square per kilo newton by substituting this value we are getting this uh, 0.001 meter square per kilo newton that means by increasing of the effective stress from 50 to 100 kilo per meter square will uh, changing of the wire ratio 0 0.70 to 0 0.65 the 0 0.01 meter square value is uh, compressed by the application of the soil load next coming to the modulus of volume change or coefficient of volume compressibility we are having one more formula the coefficient of volume compressibility we are having mv equal to av divided by 1 plus uh, e naught 1 plus e naught this is the formula we are having otherwise uh, delta e divided by delta sigma bar into uh, that means uh, delta e divided by delta, delta sigma bar into 1 plus uh, e naught uh, this you can uh, write for calculation of the coefficient of volume compressibility where this uh, delta e divided by delta sigma bar we are taking as the coefficient of compressibility av of the modulus of volume change or coefficient of volume decrease mv equal to av divided by 1 plus e naught where av we are taking this value as 0 0.001 divided by 1 plus 0 0.70 that will be equal to 0 0.001 divided by 1.07 we are getting value this value as uh, 1.7 by substituting this uh, 0 0.001 divided by 1.7 finally we are getting the coefficient of volume compressibility or coefficient of volume change will be equal to mv equal to 5.88 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square per meter square per kilo newton from this uh, next uh, while uh, drawing the graph from the effective stress uh, with reference to the wide ratio we are getting the compression index uh, and the soil mass for the compression index we are having the formula cc equal to delta e divided by delta log uh, sigma bar where delta e is the again uh, change in wire ratio that is uh, e naught minus uh, e1 we are uh, taking that the e naught value we are having 0 0.70 minus even value we are having 0 0.65 and log based on uh, x sigma 2 bar we are having given in the problem as 100 kilo per meter square and sigma 1 bar uh, 50 by substituting this value we are getting the compression index of the soil mass uh, is in a uh, 
zero point one one six. This is the calculation how the coefficient of volume compressibility as well as the coefficient of compression index we are taking from taking from by calculating the consolidation text. In similar way, we will solve some more problem based on this concept. And coming to the second problem, and if you observe in this problem. A sand fill compacted to a bulk density of 18.84 kilo per meter cube is to be placed on a compressible uh, saturated uh, mass deposit of 3.5 meter thick. The height of the sand fill is to be 3 meter. The if the volume compressibility mv of the deposit is uh, 7 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square per kilo newton, estimate the final settlement of the clay. So, uh, it's made the final settlement of the fill that means if you see here a sand fill compacted to a bulk density of 18.84 kilo per, kilo per meter cube is placed on a compressible saturated mass deposit of 3.5 meter thick suppose if you see here uh, this is the 3.5 meter height of uh, sand fill we are uh, taking in this uh, height of sand fill uh, a sand fill compacted to a bulk density of uh, in this bulk density of 18.84 kilo per meter cube is placed with a thickness of 3.50 meters and the height of the sand fill in this side we are taking this value as 3 meters the volume compressibility of the deposit is the while applying the load due to application of the load the volume compressibility of the soil mass is taken as 7 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square per kilo newton estimate the final settlement of the fill due to this overweight or the compressibility, volume compressibility of the soil mass. Hence, uh, by writing the given data, where given data height of sand fill will be equal to uh, 3 meters, bulk unit weight of uh, fill will be equal to 18.84 kN per meter cube, increment of pressure on top mass deposit that will be equal to 3 into 18.84. That means uh, this uh, in this uh, soil mass uh, due to sulfate of the soil mass, the overlying metal also will may give the some effective pressure. That effective pressure we are taking it as gamma into z, where uh, z is the three meter depth of the thickness of the layer, and 18.85 is the unit weight of the material. And by substituting this, we are getting the increment of the pressure on top mass of the soil deposit will be equal to 56.52 kN per meter square where uh, thickness of the mass deposit that will be we are taking this value as uh, 3.50 meter in this uh, 3.50 meter this is the initial height we are uh, considering above this initial height uh, the 3.0 meters uh, sorry this is the in this uh, the below portion uh, this is the 3.5 uh, meters depth in this uh, we have uh, filled the sand fill and the initial uh, thickness of the mass deposit H0 equal to 3.50 uh, meter, volume compressibility MV equal to 7 into 10 power minus 4 kilo per meter. The final settlement of the clay layer uh, for that uh, 3.5 meter deposit of the soil mass we should have to calculate. That value it will be final settlement while giving the volume compressibility we are having the formula MV into H0 into delta sigma bar where this 3.5 meter is the thickness of the thickness of the clay layer above this 3 meter the sand fill is there the sand fill will create the pressure on the soil mass as well as the overlying material available here also will create some pressure on the soil mass hence the final settlement will be equal to mv into h0 into delta sigma bar where mv coefficient of volume compressibility or coefficient of volume change will be equal to 7 into 10 to the power of minus 4 h0 is the initial height or initial thickness of the soil sample we are taking it as a 3.50 meter that is 3500 mm and uh, delta sigma is the effective pressure acting on the soil mass due to the overlying above material that will be 56.52 mm the final settlement of the mass deposit it will be equal to 138.5 mm then the coefficient of volume compressibility is 7 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square per kilo newton in this way we can estimate the volume compressibility of the soil mass for based on the volume compressibility Next, in same way, you will solve one more problem based on the one more problem be, uh, based on this uh, consolidation uh, concept, uh, like uh, different type of clay layers. And uh, coming to here, 
calculate the final settlement of the clay layer shown in the below figure uh, due to an increase of pressure of 30 kN per meter square at a mid height of the clay layer take gamma w equal to input of water gamma w equal to 10 kN per meter cube if you observe here uh, this is the ground surface the ground surface having the sand thickness uh, up to 4 meter depth with the unit weight of sand as uh, 20 kN per meter cube and the clay layer having thickness of 2.50 meters and this is the middle uh, layer of the clay layer at this point the clay layer ha having the density or unit weight of the clay layer will be taking as 18 kN per meter cube where cc is the coefficient of uh, compression or uh, compression in uh, coefficient of consolidation value we are taking the cc value it will be 0 0.22 and initial void ratio e naught equal to 1.30 we are taking in this uh, present uh, soil mass for this we should have to calculate the final settlement of the uh, soil layer before calculating for this uh, final settlement of the clay uh, uh, final settlement of the clay layer we should have to investigate the how much effect of uh, effective stress is acting on the overlying uh, overlying of the this uh, point a and if you see here also calculate the settlement when the water table rises to the ground surface suppose uh, from here there is availability of water is there if the water is entering at this uh, ground surface how the clay layer will make it uh, decreased or settled that also we should have to calculate and coming to here initial pressure at uh, center of the clay layer we should have to calculate that means if you consider this is the point a at this point due to overlying material above this clay layer as well as the uh, overlying material in this uh, clay portion above the center point we should have to calculate that value it will be initial effective pressure it will be sigma bar equal to gamma into z that means uh, gamma is the into weight of the sand that we are taking from this uh, thickness of the clay layer 4 meter as the 20 kilo per meter cube hence 20 into 4 plus uh, 1.25 this is we are taking as a h by 2 h by 2 at center of the clay layer hence uh, 12.5 divided by 2 1.25 into 18 is the unit weight of the clay layer material hence uh, 1.25 into 18 uh, by calculating all these we are getting this value as 102.5 kN per meter square is the uh, effective overburden pressure is acting at this uh, point A at this point A the effective overburden pressure is uh, acting that value will be equal to 102.5 kN per meter square next by using the uh, final settlement of the foundation the final settlement of the clay layer SF equal to CC divided by 1 plus E naught into H naught log base 10 sigma naught bar plus delta sigma bar divided by sigma naught bar where cc is the coefficient of consolidation value that we are taking this value as 0.22 hence so cc value we are taking as 0.22 divided by 1 plus e naught that means 1 plus e naught 1.30 into h naught is the initial height or initial thickness of the clay layer that is 2.50 into log base 10 into sigma bar is the effective overburden pressure acting on the soil mass due to the overlying material plus uh, delta sigma bar is the additional pressure acting on the soil mass due to the building eight by sigma naught bar is the effective overlying pressure by substituting this uh, we are getting this the thickness of the clay layer is uh, settled 2.3 uh, 2.63 centimeter suppose if you consider this is the your uh, clay soil layer from this uh, clay soil 2.5 meter thickness is there uh, 2.63 centimeter the soil mass was get settled or the soil mass was uh, get compressed uh, soil mass was get compressed uh, in this way we will calculate the stress distribution uh, that means uh, consolidation of the soil mass uh, we will calculate when the water table uh, is not available at the ground surface for the same problem uh, if the water table is uh, available at top of the ground surface how the how the coefficient of volume compressibility or coefficient of consolidation it may get changed that we will see here suppose if the water table is uh, overlying here because of this water table presents here the effective stress value it will may get uh, decreased because of decreasing of the effective stress again uh, the settlement of the soil mass it will be more hence uh, coming to here when the water table is uh, rises to the ground surface when water table is rise to the ground surface again we are having the sigma naught equal to gamma into 
uh, water table rise to the ground surface the sand zone will, will maybe get converted to submerged condition hence uh, gamma w gamma minus uh, gamma w nothing but give the saturated unit weight hence 4 into 20 minus 10 plus 1.25 into 18 minus 10 because of saturated uh, gamma sat equal to gamma minus gamma w gamma b minus gamma w uh, we are taking as a, a submerged condition of the soil mass suppose if you see here uh, if you see here uh, this is the clay soil layer suppose if the clay soil completely filled with water and above this uh, water table is there the soil what is uh, present here we are taking it as the submerged intuit of the soil mass gamma prime uh, that submerged intuit of the soil mass gamma prime equal to uh, unit weight of saturated unit weight of the soil mass gamma sat minus gamma W. This gamma sat minus gamma W means previous condition already this iron mass is in the saturation condition because of the presence of the water. And so coming to here uh, 4 into 20 minus 10 plus 1.25 into 18 minus 10 that will be equal to 15 kilo per meter square. Therefore final settlement uh, SF equal to CC that is 0 0.22 divided by 1 plus E naught that will be 1 plus 1.30 into uh, 2.50 into that means uh, into H naught uh, thickness of the clay layer 2.50 into log base 10. 50 plus uh, delta sigma bar uh, 38 by 50 by substituting this uh, we are getting this value as uh, 4.88 centimeter that means uh, as expected the settlement is increased due to rise of the water table if you observe uh, without uh, rising of water table uh, above the ground surface we are getting the settlement of the clay layer as uh, 2.63 centimeter when uh, ground water table is uh, entering uh, into the top of the ground surface the settlement of the clay layer we are taking this value as 4.88 centimeter in this way we will calculate the problems based on the consolidation of the soil mass in similar way we are having uh, some more problems uh, based on this uh, consolidation technique and coming to here uh, one more problem we will see based on this uh, consolidation and uh, coming to the problem uh, a stratum of clay is 2 meter thick and has an initial overburden pressure of 50 kilo per meter square at its middle. A stratum of clay is 2 meter thick and initial overburden pressure of 50 kilo per meter square at its middle. Like, uh, that means uh, like this uh, 2 meter thickness of the clay layer is there. In this thickness of the clay layer an, an overburden pressure of uh, 950 kilo per meter square is available. Determine the final settlement due to increase in uh, pressure of uh, 40 kilo per meter square at middle of the clay layer. Beyond this uh, 50 kilo per meter square again an additional uh, effective pressure of uh, an, uh, an additional pressure of 40 kilo per meter square at, mid at this middle of the clay layer was increased. The clay is over consolidated with a pre consolidation pressure of 75 kN per meter square. The clay is over consolidated, that means uh, in a previous history, the soil mass is subjected to a more pressure compared to these uh, present conditions, and the soil mass is over consolidated, that over consolidated pressure we are taking it as uh, 75 kN per meter square. The values of the coefficient of recompression and compression index are 0 0.05 and 0 0.25. In previous history, the soil mass is subjected to the pre-consolidation pressure. Hence, it will be more than the present condition. Hence, we are taking this as the recompression index or recompression index. We are taking this value as 0 0.05. Uh, whereas for uh, compression index uh, we are taking this value as uh, 0 0.25 for compression index we are taking this value as uh, 0 0.25 respectively take an initial wide ratio as uh, 1.40 for this uh, ground surface of the soil mass the initial wide ratio present in the soil mass we are taking this value as uh, 1.40 hence the final settlement of the soil mass sf equal to uh, cr divided by 1 plus e naught into h naught plus log base uh, sigma c Power divided by sigma naught plus cc divided by 1 plus e naught into h naught into log base 10 sigma naught bar plus delta sigma bar divided by sigma c where this uh, cr represents the recompression of the coefficient of consolidation of the uh, soil mass uh, that uh, recompression we are uh, taking the from the pre-consolidation pressure where this uh, final settlement sf equal to recompression index uh, cr divided by 1 plus e naught into h naught into log base 10 uh, 
this uh, confining pressure that means pre consolidation for the sigma c bar divided by uh, where sigma naught is the overburden pressure and so cr 0.05 into h naught is the height of thickness of the clay layer we are uh, taking as uh, 2 uh, uh, 2 divided by 1 plus e naught 1 plus e naught is the initial wire ratio that will be 1.40 log base 10 into sigma c bar is the uh, Initial overburden pressure due to the pre consolidation pressure of 75 divided by initial overburden pressure, we are taking this value as 50 uh, plus CC is the coefficient of consolidation. Uh, we are taking this value as the present condition 0.25. Thickness of the clay layer uh, height, we are taking this value as uh, 2. Uh, and uh, coming to and coming to the uh, 1 plus E naught initial wide ratio 1 plus 1 1.40 log base 10 into sigma bar naught is the initial overburden pressure plus uh, 40 is the effective overburden pressure after increasing due to the additional building load divided by pre consolidation pressure that pre consolidation pressure we are taking this value as 75 by adding this uh, final we are getting the settlement of the clay layer as 23.84 m that means uh, after uh, in a previous history because of uh, 75 kilo per meter square more amount of load we are you give and so more stress is happened and so that is the soil mass is over consolidated in the present condition you are giving the less load less amount of stress which uh, indicates the soil mass is in the uh, less direction uh, the value we are taking this as 23.84 This value we are taking as a, S, as a final settlement of the clay layer SF equal to 23.84 into 10 power minus 3 meter, which will be equal to 23.84 mm. In this way, we will calculate the settlement of the clay layer for this uh, following conditions. And uh, coming to the one more problem. Uh, again, if you are coming to the problem. The laboratory consolidation data for an undisturbed clay sample are as uh, follows. The laboratory consolidation data for an undisturbed clay sample are as follows. Where E1 equal to 1.0, sigma 1 bar equal to 85 kilon per meter square and E2 equal to 0 0.80, sigma 2 bar equal to 465 kilon per meter square. Determine the wide ratio for a pressure of sigma 3 bar equal to 600 kilon per meter square. If you observe here in this values, uh, they conducted the consolidation test in laboratory. With the initial wide ratio 1.0, they taken the uh, effective pressure as 85 kilon per meter square. After increase, increasing of this effective pressure to 465 kilon per meter square, the value of wide ratio get changed from 1.0 to 0 0.80 as well as uh, further they increased the stress acting on the soil mass effective stress because of this wide ratio also get changed that uh, change the value corresponding to the 600 kilo per meter square we should have to find out again uh, by using the coefficient of uh, consolidation or uh, from compression index we are having the formula uh, cc equal to delta e divided by delta e divided by delta log uh, sigma bar large uh, delta log sigma bar delta log sigma bar by using this formula we should have to calculate uh, where this uh, coefficient of consolidation cc equal to delta e divided by log sigma 2 bar minus uh, log sigma 1 bar log sigma 2 bar minus uh, log base 10 sigma 1 bar by using this expression, we can find out the CC and uh, by corresponding Y ratio change. That CC will be equal to E1 minus E2 divided by log base 10 sigma 2 bar divided by sigma 1 bar. That will be equal to 1.0 minus 0 0.80 divided by log base 10 into sigma 2 bar 465 divided by 85. By substituting this, we are getting the coefficient of consolidation CC equal to 0 0.27. One again uh, by increasing of the effective stress uh, from 465 to 600 kilo per meter square, how the wire ratio is get changing that we should have to calculate. Again, that CC will be equal to E1 minus E3 divided by log sigma 3 bar divided by sigma 1 bar. Uh, previously, this is the initial effective pressure. Uh, previous condition for corresponding. Uh, uh, 
effect over the increasing the coefficient of consolidation we have seen here uh, for uh, this compression index uh, for uh, again increasing of this effective stress uh, how the wire ratio is get changed in that we should have to calculate that cc will be equal to e1 minus e3 divided by log base 10 sigma 3 bar divided by sigma 1 bar that will be equal to e1 minus e3 divided by log base 10 into sigma 3 bar divided by sigma 1 bar that will be equal to coefficient of consolidation cc will be equal to 0 0.271 cc already we have calculated this value that value will be equal to 0 0.271 which we are equal to uh, 1.0 minus uh, e3 divided by uh, log sigma 3 bar divided by sigma 1 bar that means log base 10 uh, 600 divided by 85 0 0.849 by substituting this wire ratio we are getting this value as uh, 0. 77 0.77 this is the uh, wide ratio corresponding to this uh, uh, 600 kilo newton per meter square uh, for this uh, same problem they will uh, give this uh, wide ratio and they will ask us to calculate the coefficient of uh, compression or coefficient of consolidation value any three given parameters they will uh, give and uh, one known unknown parameter they will find out from the given parameter of the soil mass in this way we will calculate the uh, wide ratio as well as uh, coefficient compression and the uh, effective pressure with different type of conditions and coming to the one more problem coming to the one, one more problem we'll see here and if you see observe here a clay layer 4 meter thick is subjected to a pressure of 55 kilo newton meter kilo newton per meter square if you see here this is the thickness of the clay layer uh, this value we are taking it as uh, 4 meter 4 meter the thickness of the clay layer 4 meter thick is subjected to a pressure of 55 kN per meter this clay layer is subjected to 55 kN per meter square if the layer has a double drainage and undergoes 50 percent consolidation in one year that means the water for water pressure what is available here it is going from top side and uh, down side and after one year 50 uh, percent consolidation was occurred for this uh, present soil mass and in one year determine the coefficient of consolidation for that we should have to determine the coefficient of consolidation uh, cv and uh, uh, take time factor tv equal to 0 0.196 this uh, tv we are taking from the formula tv equal to 5 by 4 into mu square 5 by 4 into mu square where pi by 4 is the 0 0.785 and uh, mu is the 50 percent uh, consolidation that is uh, 0 0.5 uh, if you substitute, you will get this 50% uh, consolidation as uh, Tv equal to 0 0.196. And the coefficient of permeability K equal to 0 0.020 meter square per year. Coefficient of uh, permeability value, we are taking K value K equal to 0 0.020 meter per year. Determine the settlement in one year and rate of flow of water per unit area in uh, one year. How much uh, the settlement is happened in one year and uh, how much point of water is uh, going out from the soil mass in terms of uh, discharge that we should have to calculate and uh, coming to here first uh, uh, you first we should have to write the, all the given data that is uh, thickness of the clay layer and uh, uniform pressure acting on the soil mass and uh, soil mass is having the double drainage and it undergoes 50 uh, percent consolidation uh, time fact time t equal to one year uh, coefficient of uh, compressibility we are taking this uh, coefficient of compressibility value k equal to 0 0.020 meter per, uh, meter per year we are having the time factor tv equal to we are having two pair of formulas time factor tv equal to uh, pi by 4 into u square time factor t equal to pi by 4 into u square our uh, time factor tv equal to time factor tv equal to cv into t divided by cv into t divided by d square where this time factor tv also we are calculated by using the formula tv equal to cv into t divided by d square where cv is the coefficient of consolidation value t is the time value taken for consolidation d is the drainage path it is a non-dimensional parameter based on the degree of consolidation based on this degree of consolidation and from this cv equal to tv into d square by t and so tv value already we have calculated the value will be pi, uh, pi by 4 mu square and so 0 0.196 into here uh, the soil mass we are taking as the double drainage double drainage means the water is flowing from top and uh, uh, 
now bottom hand so d equal to uh, drainage of path of the same as d equal to h naught divided by 2 that is nothing but it will be equal to 4 divided by 2 which is we are getting this value as 2 square and so 0 .0, 0 0.196 into 2 square divided by 1 we are getting the coefficient of consolidation cv value as 0 0.784 meter square per year per year uh, this much amount of uh, volume um, um, consolidation is happening for this uh, ground surface of the soil mass next after this we are having the coefficient of consolidation we are having one more formula that equal cv equal to k divided by cv equal to k divided by mv into gamma w from tachagis theory of one dimensional consolidation uh, we have to calculate you, you can uh, calculate the soil mass by using this formula cv equal to k by mv into gamma w where cv is the coefficient of consolidation k is the coefficient of permeability mv is the coefficient of volume compressibility gamma w is the unit weight of water from this we are calculating the uh, volume compressibility of the soil mass mv equal to k divided by cv into gamma w where this coefficient of permeability is 0 0.020 into meter 1000 divided by 0 0.0 cv we are calculating this so 0 0.784 into 1000 we are converting into meter and a kilo newton per meter uh, this uh, meter per four divided by meter square meter square meter square will get cancelled and we will get this value as 2.60 into 10 power minus 3 meter square per kilo newton hence the final settlement of the soil mass when given the uh, total compressibility volume of the soil mass uh, the total settlement final settlement sf equal to mv into h naught into delta sigma bar where mv is the coefficient of volume compressible that will be equal to 2.60 into h naught initial height of the thickness of the clay layer 4 into delta sigma bar is the additional effective pressure acting on the soil mass will be equal to 0 0.572 meters uh, this is the final settlement happening for this uh, soil mass next coming to settlement after uh, one year uh, for 50 uh, percent degree of consolidation this is the final settlement here it is happened for uh, one year for 50 percent degree of consolidation and settlement after one year will be equal to equal to 0 0.50 into 0 0.572 which gives the 0 0.286 meter this is the settlement of soil mass after one year it is happening in this present soil mass in this way we can calculate la calculate the different type of clay layer how the coefficient of permeability is happening okay uh, first we should have to calculate the cv uh, the cv we can uh, take it from the tv time factor tv otherwise uh, k by mv gamma w this uh, from this relation also you can make and take this uh, value in this way we will calculate the coefficient of uh, permeability that means uh, consolidation of the soil mass for a uh, different type of uh, soil drainage discharge in next class uh, we will see some more problems based on these concepts thank you